All right, Miss Aurora is back. Secured entrepreneurs. We just got finished discussing the difference between the prenuptial agreement and the marital trust. So in this video, Miss Aurora wants to break down the marital trust for entrepreneurs. Okay. So I want to get into the estate tax planning, the asset protection, the control over asset distribution, as well as the preservation of family wealth. Okay. Can we do that? All right. So for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right now, Secured Entrepreneurs. One of the very best things that you could actually do for yourself if you are an entrepreneur and you are married, and you have built a legacy, especially if it's two entrepreneurs who are married and you have built a business together, the marital trust is definitely for you. The marital trust is known as the marital deduction trust, also known as the qualified terminable interest property trust. And you will see that as Q-tip. And what this is, is a legal arrangement allowing for an individual's estate to be set aside for the benefit of their surviving spouse. Okay. So the estate will be passed through to the surviving spouse upon that individual's passing. And then what happens is that the tax will be deferred until after the surviving spouses transitioning. Okay. That's how that works. And we'll talk about uh, the extension of the family in a moment. Okay. So let's get into estate tax planning. When it is that you do not have the proper estate tax planning and you transition, you are po possibly leaving your spouse with a very large tax burden. Okay. The value of your estate. Okay. Will now there's, there's going to be an issue. There's going to be an issue for the surviving spouse because of the tax that's going to be due based on the value of your estate. Okay. So you really don't want to have that to happen. Okay. The other thing that, you know, most of the secured entrepreneurs already know that Mr. Rohr doesn't believe in that whole will thing because the will just lines you up for probate. And we already know that, uh, when you go to probate, you're going to pay and you're going to wait, you're going to pay and you're going to wait. And depending on the size of the estate, it could take a very long period of time. And yes, you will be paying taxes on the estate. If you did not put any proper tax deferral strategies in place, okay, you will have to pay taxes on the estate uh, upon the transitioning of a spouse, a loved one, a family member, etc. Okay. So now the asset protection, all of us here as entrepreneurs, we all know that we are accumulating wealth. We are accumulating assets. Okay. And we need an entity that is going to have ownership over these assets, right? So seeing as we plan to stay married to our spouses, right? We plan to stay married. We do not want those assets to get lost you know, to the public. Okay. We do not want those assets to be squandered by children, grandchildren, things of this nature. Okay. We want to make sure that we have a secure plan in place. This is in writing. These assets now belong to this trust. And we all know here in the secured entrepreneur movement that when it is that you transfer an asset to the trust, the asset no longer belongs to you. It belongs to the trust. So, um, you know, Good luck to anybody who's trying to come and take anything that they think belongs to you when it actually belongs to the trust. Okay. So this marital trust is going to ensure that your surviving spouse still has access and authority over these assets, especially if the surviving spouse is the individual in control of the business. Okay. Because we, we want to bear in mind that there are things that will belong to the business that would be vital uh, to the surviving spouse that the surviving spouse needs to have access to and control over. And there are ways that you would need to go about protecting those assets. Okay. So this would be a layering situation because there would be things that you put inside the marital trust. And then there would be things that you put inside of a pure asset management trust. 
and also maybe a family uh, trust. You know what I'm saying? So we want to make sure that the asset protection is there so that the surviving spouse has everything that they need to live off of until they're transitioning. All right. So uh, let, let, let's move on because this is getting really juicy. And Miss Aurora gets this question all the time. Okay. And this is why I say this is really juicy because there are many people who are sincerely concerned about what happens to their things when they transition. Now they're no longer going to be here physically, but they want to know if in fact, what they want to have happen to the things that they uh, accumulated during their time here on the planet uh, is going to work out the way they want it to. Okay. So the control over the asset distribution. Okay. Now as the entrepreneur, you are coming into a contractual agreement with a trustee, right? And you are able to dictate how it is the assets get distributed, whether that be to the surviving spouse, whether that be to the surviving children, whether that be to surviving business associates, okay? Whatever agreement that you make with the trustee to govern, uh, the trust and those assets okay that is what the trustee must abide by okay so you know we get we get these questions all the time what what, what if um you know my children think that they're going to do whatever they want to do you know how are we stopping the children <laughs> everybody wants to know how they're stopping the children <laughs> no comment um so that that's that when it is that you come into that contractual agreement with the trustee, the trustee has the fiduciary duty to care for the assets. Okay. And to follow out the entrepreneur's wishes. All right. And also remember that the surviving spouse will be well aware of what was, uh, uh, uh in what's in the trust, what the contractual agreement is because the surviving spouse will have access to the trust. Okay. So, you, 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 you will more than likely have the opportunity to see from the other side that everything is going well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that leads us into the preservation of the family wealth. Okay. So we all know that we want to create a wealth cycle that keeps the wealth inside of our family. That means that we will have the opportunity to pass these monies through to children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. And because we have a business structure, we have made sure that the business is able to survive without us. We have a true bona fide company or we have true bona fide companies. We have already put these assurances in place to make sure that monies are is still coming in and we have the proper investments to make sure that the monies are growing somewhere. So we have provided for the generations to come. Okay. And many people are asking about, you know, particular types of assets, you know, like artwork, family heirlooms, things like that. Yes. You would want to have your marital trusts own these particular things if that is important to you it may it, it may be more important to you to have it in a in another type of trust to set aside for some other things it's it's unique to each individual it's unique to each family okay but you all know that you can get on to miss aurora's calendar as a matter of fact miss aurora is going to put a zoom link under this video okay because i know that a lot of you are trying to get on the calendar but you know, Miss Aurora is just one tenderoni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I will put the Zoom link down there so that you can speak with KJ and let him know exactly what it is that you are looking to do. And he will see to it that you get on the calendar with me so that we can uh, go through what it is you're trying to create for your family and for your business. Okay. So 
that's just a little bit of what Miss Aurora wants to share with all of the secured entrepreneurs about the marital trust. Okay. You all know that you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta -ta.